Golden Globe nominations are officially in and kick off. Not just award season, but also a revamped edition of the award show coming up on January the 7th. Eli is back this hour. We were live as they announced uh, the <laughs> nominations, which is always very exciting because it's movies and it's television. Yeah. It's dramas, but it's also musicals and comedy. So there's a lot for us to, to talk about live and then for you to go back and ponder. So is it a Barbenheimer Golden Globes after all? It is. Look at your number one and two most nominated films out of this. This morning it is a Barbenheimer morning with Barbie leading the pack with nine nominations overall pretty much all of the major categories not a surprise considering the box office smash earning what I think about billion and a half now and counting and so to go from a doll to an interesting exploration of what it means to be a woman in this mar modern age and what a perfect couple Ryan Gosling Margot Robbie bringing all the plastic paradise to love, to light, but then asking some interesting questions. So nine nominations this morning, including acting categories, comedy categories, best song, Ryan Gosling, I'm Just Ken. I only hope and pray that that becomes a musical segment during the Oscars. So oh, yeah. that's your leader, then followed by a very different film, Oppenheimer, this amazing tour de force by Christopher Nolan, Killian Murphy playing the inventor of the modern atomic age, a movie that kind of flips all sorts of timelines, asking provocative questions about ethics and responsibility, a movie that uh, together, those two films helped each other and became a box office phenomenon, but also really interesting that these are original stories. So these are not franchises. We're not celebrating superheroes this morning. We're celebrating really interesting filmmakers. But talking about interesting filmmakers, I want to pay attention to um, Past Lives. This is a film from a Canadian director, Celine Song, about this uh, heartbreaking, aching romance of you see them as young people, and then a long time later, they meet their lives have gone in different directions. At one point, part of them uh, immigrates to actually Toronto, and then they come back together, and it's very much a romance. I'm not going to say anything else except that it was nominated in four Amazing. categories this morning, including the acting category, including the directing category for Celine Song, including uh, best foreign language picture uh, and best picture in that big category, competing with the other giant films like Oppenheimer and, and more. So a very exciting kind of global look at the nominations this morning. Let's quickly take a look at some of the other categories. Best performance by an actor. We got Bradley Cooper going up against Killian Murphy in Oppenheimer versus Leonardo DiCaprio, Coleman Domingo, Andrew Scott in All of Us Strangers. Very exciting. And Barry Keegan in Saltburn. That is uh, exciting. Lily Gladstone, widely touted to win Best Oscar nominated mm. this morning for Killers of the Flower Moon, but she's got her work cut out against her, going up against Kerry Mulligan and Annette Benning in Nyad. That is a bit of a surprise, but that is the wonderful Killers of the Flower Moon, directed by Scorsese, uh, taking a true story, making it into this amazing, epic Gladstone, the indigenous lead, um, certainly a strong contender. You want to talk about television? Yeah, let's I'm, talk about the, leave the, you the with big the, categories. The Bear, three nominations okay. this morning, including Ayo Edebri. Uh, she is fantastic in that show. Wonderful to see her. Uh, so three nominations and succession in television leading the pack. Their swan song as a series and widely loved by the Golden Globes. Nine nominations. Really? Just about every category they have for that final amazing season of succession. Tell me Ted Lasso, The Morning Show and uh, The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel all got nominations. Maisel, Those are my three. Maisel, not so much. Ah. Lasso still hanging okay. on. Even then kind of like some interesting questions about, uh, you know, the the, the worth of their final season, but Hannah, who's always been so great, I did oh, yeah. hear Hannah her name um, n mentioned this morning. There she there is. She so is. Uh, there'll be Lasso fans at the Globes. Oh, and, and maybe Taylor Swift, because as we said last hour, they have this new box office category. So Taylor Swift's concert film was nominated. Could maybe we'll she have the will musical probably Globes. be Who there. Knows? Could be. A, it's January the seventh. They're still looking for a host. Put your name in. <laughs> All right, get I'm on. Ready? I'm ready, folks. Okay, I'm ready. that's going to be a great show, and uh, we'll have, of course, full award season coverage as always. Thank you, Eli. Lots of fun.